Hello and welcome. If this is the first time you've joined us, welcome. We're very happy to have you here. My name is Keith Thompson with the Armadale Church of Christ. We're continuing on with a Bible study on the internet that is about the book of Titus. We're up to chapter 3. Now, the focus that we're going to look at today is found in Titus 3, verses 4 to 7. Notice what we read there. But when the kindness of God, our Savior, and his love for mankind appeared, he saved us, not on the basis of deeds which we have done in righteousness, but according to his mercy, by the washing of regeneration and renewing by the Holy Spirit, which he poured out upon us richly through Jesus Christ our Savior, so that being justified by his grace, we would be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. My friends, here we're reading about the gospel of Jesus Christ, the good news, that even though that sin has caused us to die spiritually, there is life waiting for us. And that comes about because, as we read in verse 4, of the kindness of God our Savior. God did not need to provide us with the way of salvation, but he did by sending his Son, Jesus Christ. Notice verse 5, he saved us not on the basis of deeds which we have done in righteousness, but according to his mercy. We cannot do enough good things to be saved. The Bible tells us in, uh, first, uh, in, in Romans chapter 3 and verse 23, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. In Romans 6, 23, it says, the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus. What we earn from the sin we commit is death. We cannot work our way out of that spiritual grave. It can only be through this gift of God, through the kindness of God, who sent his son to die for us in, in, in our place. Jesus died for the forgiveness of our sins. So notice we go on. We are saved not on the basis of deeds which we have done in righteousness, but according to his mercy, by the washing and regeneration and, newing, and renewing rather of the Holy Spirit. Jesus told Nicodemus, as recorded in John chapter 3 and verse 5, he said, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. This is what Titus is telling us. We are saved by the washing and regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit. We are saved when we are baptized and the Holy Spirit works in our baptism. Notice in 1, 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 13. It says there, for by one spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, whether slaves or free, we were all made to drink of one spirit. We are saved by the washing and regeneration and renewal of the Holy Spirit, whom he poured out upon us richly through Jesus Christ our Savior, so that being justified by his grace, we would be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. When Saul of Tarsus, who later became known as the Apostle Paul, had, uh, had seen Jesus on the road, he had been sent to Damascus, and there he would be told what he had to do. We read there in Acts chapter 20, uh, 22 and verse 16, in the words of Paul himself, where Nicodemus said to him, Now why do you delay? Get up and be baptized and wash away your sins, calling on his name. This is how we get the free gift of eternal life. Through our faith 
repenting of our sins, confessing the name of Jesus Christ. And just like Paul did, getting up, being baptized, and wash away our sins. You see, when our sins are forgiven, we're no longer guilty of sin. They have been washed away. This brings us to the end of our study today. And I'm so thankful that you were able to join us. Please come back regularly. If you have any questions, put them down in the comment section and we'll get right back to you. Thank you and goodbye for now.